Country head of ANZ PNG Mark Baker says it is a great feeling for the organization to help support the National Women's 15s team for three years as the naming rights sponsor. If anybody can help someone fulfill their dreams, it's got to be a great feeling. And it, it's a great feeling for our, our organization. It's a great feeling for the people within the bank as well. Uh, there's a real sense within, within our bank of, of, of making this team part of our family. Baker says the whole idea behind the support is to promote inclusiveness. I mean, what we really liked about this was one, it's women, and we know that in Papua New Guinea, women need all the support they can get in terms of just um, being able to play on, a, on, a, on an equal playing field. Uh, we, we like the idea that rugby union uh, is really inclusive. And when I say inclusive, because you've got people playing in the forwards who can be a really quite a different type of person to people playing in the backs, and that's the men's game and the women's game. Interim president for PNG RU Ben Frame thanked ANZ PNG for their support, especially at a time when the team needed help to attend the 15th tournament in Lautoka, Fiji. So we're very appreciative of ANZ's support. Um, as I mentioned, they're, they're an organisation that is all about empowering women, and the 15s game is very much about that, where it's inclusive for all shapes and sizes, all skill levels, speeds, where the sevens game is a bit more one-dimensional. This, this gives an opportunity to a broader range of Papua New Guinean ladies, and hopefully the, the, the young girls and the juniors who love rugby will see that, and um, it, will, it will spark that love to want to play rugby and grow the game, both men's and women's rugby moving forward. After a long time of not playing international rugby, things have certainly changed for the 15s tournament since invited back in 2018. Frame says the team will go out there and play their best game. Looking into this tournament, I, I, I'm, I think the girls will do us proud, especially against uh, Tonga and Samoa. Uh, it's going to be tough against Fiji, but they will try their hardest. And Australia's got a Australia A side, and the Kiwis have a Silver Ferns de development side, so they're going to be tough. But the beauty of that is when you play the best teams in the region, it only strengthens your game. Palais representative and player Christine Wanam Oki says the team is privileged to have an internationally recognised company, ANZ, to back the team and support them for three years. Firstly, I'd like to say thank you to ANZ, uh, the organisation and the management and the staff for supporting us on, on this cause of ours, which is attending the Oceania Women's 15th Tournament. We've had three months of preparation, although it may seem like a short period to many. For us, it's been, um, it's been a challenge because there are a lot of talented women in the country. However, it's come down to, to the 26, to the 30 players that we, are now, um, that we are now presently in the squad. The team will leave the country on Friday for Lautoka, Fiji. Godwin Eki, National MTV Sports.